Today we've got something completely different. Now I do want to thank Kano for sending this out, but I only agreed to do this if I could be completely honest. Anyway, let's get started. So the kit in question is the Kano Pixel. It is a fairly inexpensive package that allows you to create, right from scratch, your own lights, animations and games. Now when you first unbox this rather delightfully coloured package, you are greeted by a whole series of parts. The box also contains an instruction manual as well as two sheets of stickers which kind of give you an idea of the kind of pixel art you can make with this device. Now you might be like I kind of was, looking at all these different parts and thinking I've got no idea where to start with this, but luckily the instruction manual does make something which could have been quite complicated really rather simple. It spells out even the simplest of steps, with for example an entire page dedicated to the instruction, turn the box over. Now as you're probably aware when it comes to computers, the motherboard is the centre of everything. It is the board which connects all the different parts in a way that they can work together, and whilst you're setting the device up, installing all the different buttons, the manual tries to explain not only what you should be doing, but also why you're doing it. Once you've installed the buttons and joystick, there's also a little dial which you can clip onto the top and use it to control what mode you want the computer to be in. It's pretty cool when you see what this can do. As you probably guessed, there's a battery to power the whole thing, but what was nice to see is that there's also a plastic housing to protect all the parts. So you just place that on either side of the motherboard, clip it into place and you're good to go. The device is pretty much set up now. One thing I did notice is that when it's in the case, the joystick doesn't quite protrude as much as they would have liked, making it a little bit uncomfortable to use. In the grand scheme of things though, a pretty small issue. Now when you turn the device on for the first time, you're going to be greeted by three different modes. The first one is light shows. You can choose a whole bunch of different lighting styles and then try and manipulate them. See how pressing the buttons and moving the joystick actually adjusts what lighting effect is created. It gets better because the kit has a built-in microphone and an equaliser setting, and it's quite a fun one to play around with. You could start drumming your fingers on the table, or playing your favourite soundtrack and seeing how this thing reacts. Switching the dial to the gaming tab and things get even more interesting because you can quite easily find yourself immersed in a game of Snake, in a game of Brick Breaker, a lot of the classic games you've been used to playing. Now bear in mind these aren't the most ergonomic controls, they don't feel like they've been built for gaming, so yes, what you're seeing right now is these games in Fast Forward. Having said that, that's far from the purpose of the device. This is an education kit, and as soon as we've hooked it up to the application, its use will start to make a lot more sense. Okay, so, this is where the fun really starts. You log on with your laptop into the Kano site, download the application, and boot it up. It is an extremely clean interface when running in a full screen mode, it's a really well made application, you can really feel the time that has been spent optimising it. It's filled with animations, really clear to read instructions, it's a joy to use. And this app acts like an interface, the interface with which to design applications to run on your Kano. When you first boot it up, you'll be greeted by a pretty extensive list of tutorials that'll teach you how to program the various different functions. Now, the way the programming works makes a lot of sense. You can see that it's designed for all different age groups, as well as all different levels of experience. It's got a tactile feel to it. Everything works by dragging and dropping a whole series of if and then commands onto each other, almost like fitting together pieces of a puzzle. And you'll notice, either as you're drawing a picture, creating an animation or building a game, that whatever's on your display will also be showing on the Kano at the same time, so it gives you a constantly accurate visualisation of what your end product is going to look like. The application also rewards you, it tries to push you to try new things, to complete all the tutorials and challenges it offers, so that you can really start to understand your kit. It'll actually let you level up, earn achievements and trophies, which some people won't care, but I think it's a pretty cool touch. As you really start to get into the nitty gritty of the application, you'll realise the Pixel does far more than just teach you to code. You'll learn everything from how to animate objects more realistically, how to fuse colours so they create the desired colour. As a very basic example of something I've just coded, I've made it so that when I press the A button, it's going to trigger an animation that I've built. Now this is obviously a very beginner task, but for those people who want to take it further, there is so much opportunity here. It can introduce everything from random variables to sine waves to automatically generated numbers, the possibilities are genuinely endless. So guys, there we have it, that is the Kano Pixel Kit, and it is some completely different, but at the same time its appeal is rather broad. Almost anyone who is interested in computing, animation, graphic design, as well as coding itself, will actually find something to enjoy here. It is a portable device with lots of versatility and lots to learn too. Thanks a lot for watching guys, really hope you enjoyed the video, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.